The other day I went to visit my friend who's fostering a mama dog and her two puppies. They were really cute and the mama dog was so patient with her puppies, even when they were gnawing on her leg. I'm so amazed by maternal instinct in animals. Then on my drive home, someone bumped my car from behind. The first thought in my head was, oh, I shouldn't have come out to see the puppies. Now I have to deal with this. But I caught myself and said, look, it's not great that this just happened, but it has nothing to do with going to see the puppies. A fender bender could happen anytime, so this is not a reason to start woulda, coulda, shoulda-ing. I pointed to the gas station on the corner and the other driver pulled over. She was a young woman and she immediately apologized. Part of me wanted to tell her, if you're insured, your insurance company does not want you to say that to me. She didn't hit me hard, so the damage isn't terrible, but there is damage. She said, I'm insured, but I could also pay you cash. The do-gooder in me thought, I'd hate for her insurance premium to go up over a minor fender bender. But I told her, let me get an estimate to see what we're looking at and we'll go from there. That night, I read a bunch of Yelp reviews for a couple auto body shops. It wasn't encouraging to read all the angry posts. Even highly recommended body shops had negative posts about getting ripped off. The next day, I took my car to two body shops recommended by dealerships. One quoted 1500, the other 5,000, making my already decision-making challenged head spin. A lot of the negative Yelp reviews I had read were about the repair costs coming out much higher and the repair time ending up much longer than originally estimated. When the body shop actually disassembles the car, they sometimes find damage inside that needs to be repaired or the part they need takes longer than expected to arrive. And since I would need a rental while mine is in the shop, that expense would also end up higher if there were any delays. I realized I could try to help this young woman out by not going through her insurance and then end up screwing myself over because if the costs end up higher than estimated, I don't know that she'd be willing or able to cover it. An acquaintance told me, don't feel guilty. The other driver made a mistake. She's got insurance, that's what insurance is for. And if her premium goes up, that's how it works. Can you tell me you've never made a mistake that you had to pay the consequences for? No, I can't. So I called the woman and said it would be safer for both of us to go through insurance. She agreed and said, I actually already called it in. I just want you to get your car fixed. My default is to put the well-being of others and even of objects before that of my own. It's taken me until middle age to acknowledge that I need to value myself more. But it's not too late to make my well-being a priority. We can always improve from where we are today. Can I even think of positives about the fender bender? I can. For one thing, I'm lucky it was nothing serious. I'm lucky the other driver didn't just take off. I'm lucky she has insurance and is being cooperative. Car accidents happen. I cannot control that. Considering how car accidents can be serious and even deadly, I got off really easy. And for that, I'm grateful. Now to decide which body shop to use. Glorious decision-making. Be nice to mama.